What is up guys, it is PAV Pilot and I'm back at it doing another ride on my little electric scooter and I just got off of work and my favorite part about getting off of work is the ride back because obviously I'm going home but also what makes it really sweet, what makes it the best, what adds to it, sprinkles on top, the cherry on the ice cream is that I don't have to deal with traffic, those annoying cars just filling up our roads, taking the people's sidewalk, you know, I can cruise along and not worry about that BS. And what makes it even sweeter is that these people are paying to drive on this road with their registration, their insurance, their their tax on tax and on tax rules and honestly riding the scooter has been a blast you just got to be a little bit careful ride safe and the risk is very minimal now cruising down this video is on 1.5 so it, it might seem a little fast but that's just to you know show you uh, my whole riding experience going from LA I didn't see this car right here um, but just ignore that okay keep watching how I pass all these cars that pay to be on this road Honestly, I'm glad it's just a one-time payment for this scooter. It's 2.8k and that's it. I just had to change the wheels, you know, do some small maintenance because um, e-vehicles have a lower maintenance um, thing to do. Here I reach a motorcycle and he's kind of taking a sweet time and then he goes on the wrong side of the road. That is not the correct thing to do, guys. Don't be like that guy. Be like me. Be safe and go, um, you know, split lanes properly. Right here, I am not splitting lanes properly, but that's okay. I am doing it safely. And always remember to have your gear on. I have a, my gear on. I have a authentic motorcycle gloves. That guy, look at that guy. He's wearing short shoes. Oh my god, that guy, that guy is kind of crazy. He's a little wild for that. I got um, motorcycle shoes, authentic motorcycle shoes. They were about two hundred dollars. The motorcycle gloves, authentic, were ninety dollars. And my motorcycle helmet. Honestly, it's not a motorcycle helmet, but it was a $300 helmet, so I'm hoping it is good enough. My GoPro was $600. Overall, I think I spent about 1.2K, and I don't even have like gear pants and a gear sweater yet. Um, what would that be? The 2.8K plus 1.2K, that'd be 5K. And a lot of people would say you could have bought a brand new used car. You know, talk about brand new used car. What does that even mean, brand new used car? But people would say you could have bought a car. Yeah, and then I would have to pay for registration, gasoline. Have you seen these gasoline prices? These gasoline prices are crazy. Honestly, riding in LA is a little scary because people just get their license out of a cereal box. They do dumb stuff. They do weird stuff and they do stuff that just inconvenience other drivers and they complain about bicyclists. Bicyclists get a lot of hate but honestly it makes sense though um, why they're mad all the time. It's because you're in a two-ton car, you pay to be on there, you get a special license, a driver's license by the way, to be on there and to drive this thing and you're just kind of not paying attention. People text on their phone all the time. And the spike cyclist gets mad because you put um, their life on the line, or you call you may cause bod a severe bodily injury. So yeah, it makes sense why they're mad. I mean, you would be mad if the car almost hit you, and they said sorry, and then that's it. No, you'd be pissed because that shit is um, that's just annoying. You know, don't. Um, that's why they they're mad all the time because no one really thinks about what they did. Like. They think about it for a second, like, why is this cyclist mad? I almost hit him, but I didn't hit him, so he doesn't need to be mad. But almost is just, you know, think about it more. Have you ever almost gotten hit by, you know, anything and then you didn't, but you are still a little mad or you are mad about that? That's how these bicyclists feel but on a much intense a much more intense level because you're in a again a two ton metal box overpriced metal box might i add it's almost 11 p.m and i've recorded this three times because the microphone has either failed or made a lot of 
popping noises and I don't know why but this time everything seems to be working well um, my plans for this channel what are my plans for this channel I want to buy more electric scooters and review them and I want to show my life on just electric scooters I plan to stay in LA and travel all over LA with electric scooters and show my you know my commutes and stuff like that how I get groceries where I park my car or where I park my electric super scooter for the channel though uh, I, it's at 700 700 subscribers currently but that's because I post a lot of shorts and they do pretty well they get about um, lately I've been having a lot of success 5k to 10k views um, but my, on YouTube it says my average is 800 to 2k views and I if I keep posting I think it'll get more views I'm not sure how it works so but I really want to do YouTube videos and that's why I'm filming this video I'm uh, narrating over it because those watch time hours I already have a hundred watch time hours and I I barely put out any videos and you just need 3,000 to get to request to be monetized and I think that's a great thing you know I want to be able to go on go out in the world and record a video wherever whatever i'm doing on the electric scooter and talk about it and then get paid um for that my goal is 50 dollars per video or 100 dollars. my real goal is 100 dollars per video and i'm hoping i can do that with um, this i still need a better microphone but right now i have a 20 dollar portable microphone i should have just bought in the 250 dollar dji microphone setup but I have it because I'm stubborn and I should just invest it already into more uh, YouTube quality thing I should buy I what I need is a GoPro another one and me preferably a 360 maybe a GoPro hero maybe and a better mic maybe probably the DJI mic so the GoPro is 600 or 500 and then the DJI mic is 250 plus tax so maybe 300 so that's a $900 investment and again I want to buy more scooters to review, to show off, to show my experience that there is another way besides cars to get around LA. LA is a supercar dependent city and it's just I I was already fed up with it before I even got a car. I had a car for like uh, six months, I got rid of it, it was too expensive. I mean if you, if you think about it, it wasn't that expensive, like I paid um, through 2.5 K for it and then my insurance was $200 and I just hated the fact that I was spending $200 a month to drive this car and obviously I had to do maintenance and it didn't have AC it was just so annoying um, to own a car I'm like I can't believe people just they settle for this you know they find the cheapest often option and they sell for paying $200 a month that's just insane to me and I did not want to be one of those rats in that rat race. I'll be a, another rat in another rat race but for this car rat race I'm not doing it. Like heck I know somebody at my job who's paying uh, $1,000 per month for their and this is just car payments not insurance payments uh, but they're paying $1,000 a month for their new truck that they bought. They are paying uh, their wife's car which is $500 a month and they have a third car for some reason and they're paying uh, 200 dollars a month for that car insurance payment and then insurance itself is 500 dollars and i did the math and he's paying about 3k a month to own three cars which is crazy and then i thought about it more and this guy also has to pay his rent and i don't know how much his rent is but for sure minimum two hundred thousand two thousand dollars like he's i know he's got a family so he works a lot i'm pretty sure he works like 60 hours a week or something i don't even know how you have time to do that but i guess he's happy he doesn't look happy but you know i guess it's working for him he's like like those mexicans that are want to provide their for their, for their family old-fashioned and that's very 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 good we don't see a lot of that anymore and for a good reason though but those are rare and and I, that wouldn't be me unfor unfortunately to the lucky person I married and we both we both have our costs very very low I mean super low and we have a ton of money saved in our accounts 
and honestly we don't struggle if we want something we'll get it and we have it we don't have to save up for it because we can afford it almost instantaneously and i love that about us you know we are very smart with our money we know how to manage our money and we still have a lot of fun without having to go out i wish i was talking like this in the beginning of the video but it's whatever you know um what will i do tomorrow tomorrow i'm going to work maybe i'll film some videos oh i have to go to the gym i got to go to the gym uh i have my shorts i need an extra pair of undies i need shorts an extra pair of socks and some running shoes damn I gotta get a lot. I'm so tired though. I might not even get it. I might just have to skip the gym, honestly. Just because of the, I'm so late. I should have just gone to bed or, or I should have like gotten my stuff ready instead of filming this video. But I didn't. And I can't wait to be doing more of these uh, videos. Maybe I'm praying for 200 views on these video, on this video. It's not the best video, but it's me just talking. And I will get better at talking. And people will just watch it. People will watch. I figured this out. People from H3, H3 podcast, if you know that. Um, but people will watch anything if you got a good commentary and good audio. It can literally be about anything. And you can get views if you can just narrate very well. Preferably tell a story. Um, but that's what I'm trying to accomplish with this video. Slowly but surely, I'll be able to talk. Like it's not a problem, I'll be able to comment, uh, do some nice commentary, and I will get paid for this. I swear, I swear I will get paid for this. Uh, yeah, I need to practice not saying, uh, uh, but you know, that's just one of the things that comes with talking freely. Uh, right now, oh, I did it again, see, uh. No, I can't do that. I'm heading home after a long shift because I was totally carrying the team today. Honestly, I was finally carrying the team so hard. Oh, I should talk about my day for these videos. I should just like, <laughs> that's what I should do. I should just be like, I woke up, I did this, I did that, and I felt this way. And then I went to work and it was okay and I felt this way about work. But this is PEV Pilot heading out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.